That was terrible. That was crap. That was garbage. This place sucks. Overreaction. Mondays. Monday. On a Wednesday. On okay. a Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually it's overreaction Monday on a Tuesday on a Wednesday on a Wednesday, on a Wednesday. yeah. <laughs> hey guys, you? everybody good? We're good. I just told you I'm great. Crazy baby. to see it. TJ's doing great. Who's who has it better than us? Oh, no, nobody. 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 Uh, if you look at the uh, uh, projections for next uh, April's NFL draft, the Jaguars are have uh, the number one pick. They need to think about trading Trevor Lawrence oh, and boy. doing a hard reset. Wow, dude. Dude, that's that's not going to happen. They just paid him. They just paid him. Yeah, and actually, and that, it's a cheap price now for anyone else. Guess what? Uh, yeah, they can take the number one pick. I don't they think, can take Shador or I don't Cam think that Ward contract's and start tradable. over. I don't think that contract's tradable. They get a tradable. new coach, new GM, mm, start over. Hard dude, reset. I don't even know if that's even possible cap-wise. I, don't even, I think that's unrealistic. I'll call that an overreaction mm. at present. Kind of set yourself back another four or five years, though, Chris. Uh, you? Yeah. Uh, what, what have the last four years been? What have they done there? I, I, mm. dude, look at you, man, coming out the gate. I'll call that an overreaction. All right. I'll call that an overreaction. But he's out again this week. Uh huh. He might be out for the rest of the year. I mean, it's a serious AC sprain in his left shoulder. Clearly, non-throwing. Clearly. But um, it's going to be Mac Jones against the Lions. Oh, my gosh. He's Matt getting take cover. Fed to the Lions. I'll just call that an overreaction. Say that I, I don't believe that they're, they're, they're going to go on a, a quick spin like that. They just sign him, and I don't even think that he's – I don't even think that contract's tradable. Who would take if, – if the Jaguars say we're going to go hard reset, who's going to take Trevor Lawrence for all that money? Who would do it? The Jets. Oh. Okay, very Because good. you almost had him to start with, but you had to go win that game. That's true. This is like a coming home situation. You know? Okay. It's a do-over. Okay. Well done, TJ. What Thank else? you, Chris. Uh, what's the biggest game on Sunday, you think? Well, All the, the Co- Chiefs, Bills. Yeah. Cowboys, Texans. Oh, God. That's Monday. Oh, oh gosh. My bad. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Sunday is the biggest game of Josh <laughs> Allen's career. Ooh. Bigger than the AFC Championship game? That they lost? That's bigger, kind of bigger, the bigger, than, bigger than the divisional playoff games? Come on. That they didn't win? Get out of here. Biggest game of his career. No, it's not. They have a chance to end the perfect <laughs> season so far, right? No, it's not. And totally flip it. Suddenly the one seed is Get in play here. if they win the game on Great. Sunday. And you can prove, hey, look, we can do it at home. Because guess what? Last year, they had these guys at home. Right. And or what they, happened? Or they fall to the dreaded 8-3 and three with Matt Milano getting ready to come if back. If they lose this game this year, Super Bowl out, AFC it's Championship out. Rich, you know it's true. No, I don't. You, and everyone in Buffalo, I'm sorry, Mike Hoskins, you know it knows it's true. Oh, come on! I like your because your, Mahomes owns you. You're sticking to the bit here. Owns you. Okay. Have to win. Okay. Biggest game of his career. And, then and that, okay. you win this game, suddenly, boom, you're MVP. Come on. They're going to win the division. They're going to host a playoff game at home. The only question is, is it could it possibly be the divisional Are round? Are they going to raise a banner for that like they do no, in No, I, I understand that they're not going to raise a banner for it, but I'm just saying is that there is a tomorrow. It's called a bye week if they lose. What else, Chris? <laughs> you you, you aggravated them. them with that one, bro. I got aggravated. <laughs> Rich, you got these guys six on your power rankings. A little low. <laughs> And maybe I'm inspired by the balloons over there. He loves his Eagles. Or he just doesn't want Carl Anthony Towns on his case. Yeah, you don't want that. The Eagles are going to be the one seed in the NFC. No way. No way. The Lions are going to be the one seed in the NFC. It's, it's, it, the I Lions get... should have lost on Sunday. Excuse me. They're vulnerable. I will answer. This is an overreaction. <laughs> I'll, I'll answer this way. They have a liability at quarterback. I wow. will answer <laughs> this way. By the way, you should listen to the pod. Or watch the pod. He says that Goff's the biggest liability to, for them winning the championship. He, he told me that before the pod. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. so you, you got a preview? I got a preview. Yeah. Let me ask you this question. I give you the Lions. I take the Lions versus the field. For the for, for what? the one seed. Oh, said, for oh, what? Always take the field. It's real in the field, Rich. That's how I learned how to play craps. That's what he said. Okay. I'll take the Lions. You take the field. I'll just take the Eagles for the one straight seed. Up. For the one seed. I'll take the Eagles straight up for the one seed. Okay, sounds good. Somebody write this down. He'll take the Eagles straight up for the one seed. Eagles versus Lions, one seed. Okay. 
Great. I don't know what we're going to do. I got the Kelly Green. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out about what, what this is. But and, sure. And I don't need cats sending me flowers. By the way, I'm ha- and just so everyone in Philadelphia or the Eagles organization, uh, I'm happy to be wrong. <laughs> I won't be. What else, Chris? <laughs> hey, speaking of the Eagles, they got a big game tomorrow night against uh, the Washington Commanders. Ah. If the Commanders lose tomorrow, oh it God. were officially time to be worried about their playoff chances. No way. Worried about their playoff chances? Yeah. No. No, man. Uh, rookie hitting the wall. They who already, have they, they, who they, have they, they really beaten me, they this beat, year? No, they've beaten Arizona. No, I mean, the other teams that they, they, they beaten um, – would not be in the mix Got for, super for their lucky wild card. With the Hail Mary. No, I, I hear what you're saying. I still right. think that after this game, they they have a, a mini buy before hosting Dallas and then Tennessee, and then they're by, and then they're at New Orleans. Come on, dude. I think that they're absolutely playoff bound. The question is, is can they win in Philly? If they win in Philadelphia, how about this? Flip the script. They win in Philadelphia. They look really good to win the division. They've already swept the Giants. They're about to take on Dallas twice at Philadelphia would give them a huge leg up in winning the division. That Thursday night is big. It's big. That's a huge one. It's big. Um, So I will push back on this. I'd love to agree with you on one. Sure. What else? How about this one? Sure. I think think you might agree with me on this one. Uh, I saw this team on Monday night. Uh, The Dolphins are one win away from everyone thinking they're going to make the playoffs. Sure. That's not an overreaction. I, I already, you know, you think they're going to make it? Um, if the Dolphins win this week. They got the Raiders. They should. Right. Yeah. And then four, four and six is not. I, I, I think the Bengals might make the playoffs. Yeah, but they're a half game back of the Bengals, right? They're how, still behind. They only have three wins. How about how about this? I mean, I, I can't sit here and say the Bengals and Dolphins will make it because I think they're not. Ooh, the Chargers aren't going to fall mm-hmm. apart. But I, I don't think that's an overreaction. I, I think that the Dolphins, if they win in their four and six, the Broncos this weekend of Atlanta. I mean, the Broncos can get got. The Chargers are taking on the, the, the Bengals this week. What if the Bengals beat the Chargers this week? I kind of think that's going to happen. All right. So then I don't think it's an overreaction at all. Hmm. I agree with you. Okay. Great. What else? Great. You think we need one more? Oh, wow. All right, we'll get one more. I can't believe where that came from. One more. Sure. I'm shocking. Yes. Guys, AR is back, and he has taken the Colts to the playoffs. Ah, get out Anthony here. Richardson's going to do it, people. <laughs> taking the, he's going to do what Flacco couldn't. He's going to get back out there. He's going to beat the Jets this week. They're going to be 5-6, and six, and they're going to the playoffs. They're going to raise another playoff banner in Indianapolis. To quote... Rob Reiner's mom and from Harry Met Sally, from when Harry Met Sally, <laughs> I'll have what he's having. Totally different context. I understand that, sir, yeah, but yeah. it's still the same uh, meaning, as you know. I'll have what I'll have what he's having. Come on, dude. They're gonna make the playoffs. Al- Anthony Richardson's gonna actually start playing like the first month of last season, be totally unstoppable on the ground and in the air. Colts are well. I mean, they're playing the Jets this week, so. Hard reset. Remember when you were a kid and we were playing uh, Nintendo and you just take the cartridge out? Blow it, I'm blowing it. That's it? Give a little blow real quick okay. and throw it back in. Hit reset. That's, That's it. That's what AR needed. Boom. Playoffs. Well done. Chris Brockman. Nice finish. Nice finish with a with a, a splash of insanity. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel. 12 to 3 Eastern for free.